Welcome to WatchMojo.com. Today we're profiling the 35th President of the United States, John Fitzgerald Kennedy. Born in May of 1917, JFK suffered from numerous medical problems throughout his young adulthood. Even so, when he graduated university at the Choate School of Connecticut in June 1935, his yearbook tagline read, most likely to become president. In 1941, Kennedy entered the U.S. Navy and participated in various missions, including those in the South Pacific. This earned him the rank of lieutenant as the commander of the motor torpedo boat PT-109. He won several medals for his military service, including the Navy and Marine Corps Medal, the Purple Heart, the Asiatic Pacific Campaign Medal, and the World War II Victory Medal. After returning from the war, Kennedy considered becoming a journalist, but instead opted for politics. In January 1960, Kennedy announced his intention of running for president against Republican Richard Nixon. In September of that same year, Kennedy and Nixon appeared in the first televised presidential debate in U.S. history. This event was a milestone in the history of both politics and television because even at this time, it was obvious this new medium would play a major role in national politics. Those who watched the debate on TV saw Nixon looking tense, uncomfortable, and pasty. Not at all. While Kennedy appeared healthy and relaxed. This is a great country but I think it could be a greater country. It is for this reason the majority of the television audience concluded Kennedy had won. Come November, Kennedy beat Nixon in a very close election, winning 303 votes to Nixon's 219. Kennedy was a well-known orator, and one of his most famous speeches came at his inaugural address, where he said, Ask not what your country can do for you, Ask what you can do for your country. While his tenure as president was decidedly short, Kennedy nonetheless dealt with numerous important events. One such event was that of the Bay of Pigs. Another catastrophe JFK had to handle was the Cuban Missile Crisis in October of 1962. JFK was also instrumental in the space program. He approached Khrushchev on two separate occasions in regards to a joint venture for space exploration. However, Kennedy was assassinated before the agreement could be finalized. On November 22, 1963, during a motorcade procession in Dallas, Texas, President Kennedy was killed when he was shot by a sniper's rifle. Lee Harvey Oswald was arrested and charged in the assassination of the president, though to this day there remain countless conspiracy theories as to the actual perpetrator of and reasons for Kennedy's death. Kennedy was the youngest president ever to die and was buried three days after his assassination in Arlington National Cemetery. Five years later, his brother Robert was also assassinated and would be buried next to him. Later on, Jacqueline Kennedy was buried next to him, and most recently, in August 2009, JFK's brother Edward, the Lion of the Senate, would also join his brothers.